Okay, so I've had some questions on how to use Lingo, the, the, the software that I had you work on in Unit 3. And uh, so I've already installed Lingo onto my, and I have the icon here on my desktop. And the problem that I'm going to work is problem 5 from, uh, I'm going to set up problem 5 from Chapter 3. So I'm going to go ahead and start Lingo up. I'm going to assume you already, you've already installed that. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. So we can see this problem over here on the right. Okay, so Lingo, Lingo is just a basic, very simple programming language. And we're basically I'm just going to type everything in here to set it up. So the first thing it has is the maximize, the objective function. We want to maximize five dollars times the number of gloves we make plus eight dollars profit times the number of catchers met. So this is like a profit function, okay? So I'm going to say, I'm going to make a comment here. So I'm going to start with an explanation mark. And I'm going to say objective function. And then I'm going to do a semicolon at the end of the line. I'm going to say I want to maximize. I'm going to go equals. And I want to maximize five times the number of gloves. Now, Lingo doesn't care if this is capital. If you type capital gloves, small gloves, it's going to say it's going to think it's the same thing. Now let's do small cases. Plus um, eight times the number of myths. And I'm going to close the function. Okay. So I'll do the semicolon in the end. So I'm going to maximize five times the number of gloves plus eight times the number of myths. No, no, say used R and C here, but I used decided to use gloves and myths just so it makes a little bit more sense on the output. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these constraints in next. These basically say you can't have, uh, I'm going to put a comment here. I'm going to say uh, constraints to make sure we don't have a negative amount produced. That doesn't make sense to have a negative amount produced, okay? So you're going to say the number of gloves is uh, greater than or equal to zero. So it's going to be positive. And again, we're going to close it. And I guess I should type gloves, right? you got to make sure you type it correctly. And then the number of mitts is also greater than or equal to zero. It has to be a positive number. Okay. And then... Uh, the next constraints we can put in, we can put in, I'll make a comment in the front so you know which one it is. So we can say uh, cutting and sewing. Close that line. And say cutting and sewing where it's the gloves plus two-thirds times the mitts is that center equal to 900 and close it. Okay, so I put this one in, right? I could have chose to put this behind if I wanted to. I could take this. Maybe it's better to put it back here, right? So you can drag it back here. Okay, so that's the cutting and sewing constraint. For the saw. And then finally, and then we can put in uh, um, one half times gloves plus one third times mitts is uh, less than or equal to 300. Okay, and we'll put a comment here. This is finishing. Okay, and then we have one eighth times gloves plus one fourth times mitts is less than or equal to 100. And that is uh, packaging and shipping. And close it. Remember, don't forget to put 
these semicolons after your comments and after your lines. Okay, so now we've put in this whole problem here. It's very simple. I just had to type it in. Now you don't even have to put these comments. I put those comments. It's nice to know uh, uh, you know, make comments just to know what you're doing, to show what you're doing. So now to solve it, I could just click on here and it's going to give me information on how it solved it. it took solved it very quickly. Um, <clears throat> and it says the answer is $3,700 in profit. Okay, so I can close that and it gives me my output here. And it shows me that 3,700 is the maximum of my ejection function. And my I need to produce, I'd be, at that point, I'd have 100, 500 gloves and 150 mitts. Okay. And here's my slack variable that shows that there's a slack on, on the cutting and sewing of 175. So, I, so I'm actually using, if it's 175 hours of slack, then I'm only using 820 or 725 hours in this one. And then in line five, if you look here, line five, it doesn't count the it doesn't count the comments. So line five is this line. Okay, so the finishing, I don't I don't have any surplus. Okay, okay. And my dual price on this one, if I increase the number, if I on this one, if I increase this to 301 units, 301 hours, then I'd have my objective function would increase to 3703 instead of 3700. Okay, that's what that means at dual price. And then ninth, and then the ninth, in row six, okay, that would be my third. That would be, remember, one, two, three, four, five, that would be this line. Okay, so <clears throat> that's my packaging and shipping. If I change that to 101 hours, then my dual price would be 28. So this would increase to 28. Okay, so it would be 37.28 profit. Okay, and this basically shows there's no slack. Okay, so these are binding. Okay, there's no slack. All right, so um, so basically it's pretty easy. You can do some other things, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of the flavor of this. Um, I also did this on Excel, so if you go back to the homework, it's another underline on the number on the five, and it maybe make more sense if you go look at the Excel spreadsheet and the homework. And I did it. I did it on Excel. So you go back to where I originally assigned it. The number problem five was underlined. You click on that. That means there's a link, and it'll open up the Excel spreadsheet that I did for this one. Okay. And it also has a, a similar output on page uh, 126. Not exactly the way you see right here, but it's similar to that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how to input the problem into Lingo, and you're going to learn a little bit more messing around on your own and reading. It's actually very easy to use. So that's it for that. Hopefully that helps.